हेलो फ्रेंड्स डॉलर यन एंड यन आईएनआर वीकली एनालिसिस पे आप सभी का स्वागत है टुडे इज 3rd ऑफ दिसंबर 2023 लेट्स सी हाउ लास्ट वीक द डॉलर यन परफॉर्मड एंड विसावी व्हाट वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम दिस दिस वीकली एनालिसिस इज स्पेसिफिक टू द करेंसी पेयर इट इज मींस not uh, discussing all the different currency pairs because discussing all the currency pairs takes a lot of time because of this means in depth analysis is not possible for each and every currency pairs that is why currency specific in depth analysis will be discussed in this analysis so weekly closing dollar yen at 146.78 if we see for the last couple of weeks it by trying to test that the immediate resistance at 151.75 three weeks back to back it touched the level try to break above but failed there after the 20th november week we saw a doji candle pin bar and last week one strong negative candle closing below the previous weeks doji rsi was earlier above 60 and this week it broke below 60 and currently at 56.29 to analyze the currency in total first we would like to see the monthly part monthly closing in the month of november it closed at 148.18 it's a strong negative candle little price rejections at the bottom the negative candle at the all time high that is 151.77 monthly rsi is still above 60 currently at 63.14 by seeing the strong negative candle bearish candle monthly candle we can expect some continuation of bearishness in coming week also if we see the weekly chart weekly chart there is a trend line support red color trend line support currently the price is just above that trend line support. we need to see from monday onwards whether this trend line support can be broken or not if it is broken then and only then we can expect a further down move towards your 137.90 to 138.50 levels so if the price action breaks below the support level in such a case we can expect a downward move towards 138 138.50 and if we see the daily price action the daily rsi is currently at 36.68 below 60 what it indicates bearishness now we need to see only the trend line support if we carefully monitor the price actions here continuously higher lower high lower low price actions are taking place by this till this lower high lower low fashion is there prices are expected to move down that means sell uptakes may be considered so there are negativities expected both in terms of monthly perspective as well as the weekly perspective only concern is the trend line support on a weekly time frame if monday onwards the price action is able to break below break the support trend line in such a case we can expect a good selling opportunities possibly towards 138 138.5 for that purpose we need to means sell up ticks we need to look for certain selling opportunities that suits everybody's each and every trader's uh, strategy so sell up ticks may be considered here now comes the yen iron spot yen iron spot closed at 
56.66. If we see the price actions from April 23 onwards, the weekly candle or the below the center band. First time this weekly close has taken place above center band of the Bollinger Band, which is nothing but the 20 period moving average. RSI was below 40 and this current week it closed above 40 currently at 48.14. If we consider the monthly RSI, monthly price action, first monthly price action is a double bottom formations. In the month of October, it hit the previous bottom around your 5470 to 5530. In the month of November, it took support there and moving higher. That means it's a double bottom formations. Unless the low of November is broken, there are higher possibilities. The price action will either move higher or consolidate in a range. Monthly RSI came above 40 from below 40 levels, currently at 41.26. So here, the downward pressure is gradually subsiding as far as the monthly price action is concerned. Weekly, we have already discussed. Now comes the daily analysis. Daily yen INR. First time after a long gap, means July onwards, uh, July 23. After July 23, first time RSI daily moved above 60, currently at 62.86. And also, it tried to take support near 60 and moving higher. And if we see the price sections from 13th November onwards, price is making continuously higher high, higher low. So, considering this aspect, we need to wait for the pullback strategy, means buy this. Any pullback, you can look for your buying strategy. To initiate any long trade, uh, initiate a trade from the long side means the from buying side. So here, monthly above 40 means it's a first positive signal after hitting the double bottom. Weekly moved above 40 from below. It's also a positive momentum, and after a long time since uh, your April 23. First time the weekly candle closed above center band of the Bollinger Band, which is nothing but the 20 period moving average. Monday onwards, the moment it starts trading above the last week's high, positivity may start, further positivity may be expected from the price. So, there are higher possibilities means yen INF long, that means the trading from the long side may give better results. But that doesn't mean that you buy on the day's high, rather look for pullback so that you can have a better risk. So this analysis, dollar yen and yen INF weekly analysis, I'm just uh, ending it here. Hope the presentation is of good value to those who are exclusively interested for these currency bits. Wishing all a nice weekend.